I think a lot of people have a hard time with the idea of evil in this world. I think that's where the blockage is for a lot of people getting it or waking up. And I've also come to the conclusion after all these years that it's an unmindful use of energy to obsess on the awakening of others. But I believe we exist to have our own awakening and in whatever way we can help others and sometimes show them show them things that we've seen teach them things obviously we use multimedia uh, we use technology today to share ideas that were not shared instantaneously years ago so we're in, the, we're in a whole new world of information sharing and there's a lot of good that's come from it even though there's a certain amount of uh of our humanity has been taken away from our natural state in a world where we're surrounded with so much technology, text messaging, and so many other forms of instantaneous gratification. So I think a lot of people have a hard time coming to terms with maybe not only the evil in this world, but the evil in themselves the parts of themselves that are not very evolved. And the way that we are controlled in this matrix, as you've heard from so many others, and as we move further and further in this perception of time into the future, we can see more and more how we are controlled by our impulses. Here's the branding on this box of uh, Kellogg's Special K, Pastry Crisp. Indulge your cravings. And in this physical world, where a lot of people in this world confuse pleasure with spirituality, in this world, people chase things of the flesh, of the material realm, that relate to their senses, that relate to their cravings, that relate to their attachments. And it's that way of living that entraps people in this type of a world. You know, and for years I've been consistent also saying that I think that we're in this type of a world for a reason. That it's not by accident, that we're not victims. This is also stuff that you've probably heard before from others. But put in the context of looking at the global conspiracy, the new world order, where you're seeing all this escalate towards the world of transhumanism waiting at the door. So I think the solution is self-responsibility. We've got a train over here. How do people play a part in the system, in, in holding up the system? How many people do you know that are working to be self-honest, to hold themselves accountable for how they serve the system, or how they, how they punish others? That's trying to free themselves from the system or from doing what everybody else does just to survive. Do they engage the peer pressure? Things are getting hot here. Not just on the planet, but here. Right here. This is this area. This is getting pretty hot. We're going to cut the video for now, be back with more.